Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 as Ethiopia. So, we are still colonizing. I could actually fight by a settler right now in Harar, and then use the one I'm training myself to settle a city here, and then use the second one to settle a city here. I assume there's no AI nearby because there's no loyalty penalty. Because if there was a city that belongs to an AI, there would be a loyalty penalty over here. So it should be safe. Let's do that. It has to be in the city with Magnus because that way I won't have to lose population. And we do also have two missionaries. And I happen to have two city-state quests for religious conversion. One in Rapanui and one in here. I might go for that, but we'll see. I can also try to convert some AI cities. We have options. Yeah, this one will convert in six turns, so there's no need. Let's go for the city-state. I think that's the right decision. And the other missionary as well. Off you go then. So, we got another builder. I could use a few lumber mills. I don't think they are unlocked yet. No, I need construction, which is queued up, but it's not quite there yet. I might just keep this guy until construction is ready because I kind of really need some more production in here and the lumber mills are the best way to get that right now at least for that particular city anyway there's the settler so this guy will go here and yes we will pick up the goody hat don't worry I can give him an escort I can also upgrade my spearman to my unique unit which is not cheap, but I don't think I have the time to wait for professional army. I'm nowhere close to professional army right now. Let's just upgrade him. That will give me plus 4 era score and obviously it will give me my unique unit. Technically, I could also have a city here. It wouldn't be a very good one, but it might be worth considering. In case there's oil or something like that. Which there might be. Or uranium. Uranium can be on almost any tile, by the way. The only exception are floodplains and marsh. But other than that, uranium can be on almost anything, basically. So, embark with the other guy. And we'll pick up the goody hat. We are also about to unlock the industrial zone. And I will definitely get one in my capital at the very least. I also still want a harbor. Let's just buy that tile and queue up a harbor. I need at least one harbor. I don't have a single one yet. So that's what we'll work on. We just finished the holy site. Shrine can wait. We got the holy site. That's the important part. Once I get six holy sites, we'll get yet another slot for a wildcard policy. That would be quite useful. That's definitely something I want. No doubt. Alright, so one more turn to finish industrial zone research. And I almost finished the unique building in my capital. So now we can get an industrial zone. Yeah, over here. There you go. Perfect timing on that. It won't be the only one, obviously. But that is our top production city at the moment. So embark. I'm keeping the archer here, just in case Teddy decides to declare war on us. Which he might, it's definitely a possibility. Converts in 482 turns. <laughs> okay. Not to our religion, obviously. Six turns to get construction, alright. I can't really boast it reliably, so I'll just finish it. How are we doing on science? We are doing fine. 17, 20, 24, I don't know who the unmet um, player is. Hopefully not Australia, but I'll try to find them. Uh, can we actually get here? I think so. I mean, I can always go all the way around, but I would prefer to not have to do that. We got construction. Well then, isn't that convenient? That is very convenient indeed. And there it is. Are we working that? Yes, we are. Okay, then. 
So next up, I'm thinking probably education. Can we possibly boss that? Right, I cannot recruit this person yet, because somebody else has to recruit him first. I can get a scientist, but I might have to delay education a little bit. We could go for stirrups instead, because that's already busted, or for military engineering. I will not be building an aqueduct, because I have no need for an aqueduct right now, but I need to know where Niter is. It might change our settling priorities. And I assume we can go west through here. It looks like we can. Alright, we can reach Rapanui. Nice. And I assume we can reach this city as well. Oh, here's another city-state. Okay. Interesting. I don't even remember how I found this city. I think we found a unit that belongs to it. Or maybe it was a scout. I suppose it doesn't matter too much. I should be able to get there regardless. So I think I'll stop after this settler, at least for now. Let's queue up a granary and then the unique building. Uh, actually, no, hold on. I really need a campus. Now, yes, I could get a campus here, but that would involve buying two more tiles. I could also get a plus five campus down here, but that would also involve spending 145 gold. And I don't really have the time to wait for a builder to send here to remove the jungle. Still, I suppose this is a superior location for a campus. It's just that the jungle will be kind of wasted. But okay, let's get a campus over there, right after the settler. I need more science. I can't afford to fall behind in science too much. Cyrus. Is he number one? Let's find out. Also, the next session is coming. No, Dido is number one now. This is still an unmet player. So we don't know who that was. Where's Cyrus? Also, Teddy is actually last now. So I could go to war with him and basically conquer him. Rebellion in 36 turns. That is very interesting. Okay. Maybe I can take advantage of that. We shall see. I'll try, but no promises. I can't get that much more loyalty pressure. Alright, let's just go through here. I see no reason not to. What's that quest? Inspiration for guilds. Build two markets. I don't think I'll be doing that. No, probably not. Let's check what the vote is about. Duplicates of the chosen luxury resource grant amenities. What do we have multiples of? I'm actually not sure and I can't trade during the session. We had the multiples of cotton. I got at least two. And I got at least two tobacco. So I suppose we could vote for either tobacco or cotton. Okay, let's vote for cotton, but I'm not spending any diplomatic favor. And the mercenary companies, minus 50% production. That will almost certainly pass. AI really likes that option. Yes, I should probably take advantage of that. Diamonds will grant no amenities. Okay, that doesn't really affect me. I do not have diamonds as far as I'm aware. We'll send the archer as an escort. And the next up we can work on the campus. I really need that. Where do we send the trade route? I can reach Auckland to get that quest done. So there it is. Can we actually get Auckland back? Probably not. Sort of. As in, not literally right now, but I would only need two more envoys. That would be doable. And I would really like to get it back at some point, because it's a really nice bonus. Okay, let's convert. I'll probably have to do it more than once. Most likely, yes. Or did that work? We'll find out on the next turn. Uh, three more builds, right, let's get two more lumber mills. Can't go wrong with more production. And there's the other city-state. 
hopefully I'll be able to convert it. And yes, we can sell you some horses. How about we pick up some gypsum? 16 gold. Will you give me any gold at all? No, I don't think so. Okay, fine. This is a fair deal. I'll go for it. Germany. Was he? That one unknown AI? I think that was the last unknown AI. And we just unlocked monarchy. Nice. Let's switch to monarchy then. Yep, certainly. That's plus one housing per level of walls. Which means I'll probably want to build walls everywhere. Now, I'm keeping conscription, obviously. What else? If I'm going to take advantage of that minus 50% production towards military units, or as in minus 50% production cost for military units, I should probably get some policy that gives me a further bonus. Like feudal contract. That's plus 50% production towards ancient, classical, medieval and renaissance era melee, anti-cavalry and ranged units. That will be better than chivalry. Because chivalry is just light and heavy cavalry units. And we got one more military policy to grab. So we should probably get something. I could just go for amenity from a garrisoned unit, but I don't really have any problems with amenities right now. I don't think I'll be getting more naval units at the moment. I don't need a barbarian bonus. I could just get plus 100% production towards defensive buildings. Especially if we are going to build more walls. Sure. I'm keeping serfdom. I don't think we need colonization anymore. I might get another settler, but we can pick it up later. Or we can just get a settler without colonization. Nobody said we need it. And that's two more wildcard policy slots. What can we actually get? I might go for campus district, I just sense the bonuses. Especially since we are building a campus that will have plus 5. That will give it plus 10. Yes, definitely. We got 200 gold, not really enough to bother with land surveyors. Probably just caravansaries. Yep, I will be getting more trade routes soon because we are finishing a harbor. This makes sense. That gives us castles both. And let's check the ranking. Yep, that was Germany. So he has 24 technologies. Dido has 25. Alexander has 20. And I have 18. And we are working on getting more science. That should be the priority right now. Next up, I suppose we'll get started on guilds. Or we can get started on medieval fairs. Hold on, medieval fairs are not needed for diplomatic service. Let's get started on guilds, because I will not be getting to markets anytime soon. There's no point waiting for that, it's not happening. Not in time, anyway. So, this is already converted. Why did I not finish the quest? That makes no sense. No, hold on, it's not converted. Now it's converted. Okay, so that gives us the boss. And I still got three more spreads to use. And let's do the same thing in the other city. This should easily be enough from one missionary. And hopefully I will be able to go west to explore further. The unique building is almost done. And let's queue up a holy side right away. Since we are building a holy side first, always. That's the self-imposed rule I'm playing with. It doesn't have to be the first building, but it has to be the first district. So can we go this way? I might not be able to, but I suppose we'll find out. Now, which tile exactly do you want to settle on? I'm thinking either this one. That way I'll get the crab. Just one, however. Well, this one and this one and this one. And this one. So if I settle here, I will have four crabs in range. I could also settle like here, but there's no specific benefit. The only benefit would be getting wilds, which is a luxury resource. But we already got wilds, don't we? I thought we did. Somewhere. We got turtles. But I can get wilds elsewhere. 
I can get whales from this city by settling, let's say, here or here. And we got whales over here, which I will get eventually. So I think this spot will be just straight up better. I'm not losing any important land tiles. We'll still get the cattle. Yep, sounds good to me. Let's go. And we'll have some nice tiles to work right away. This will be a pretty nice city. We got three tiles with stone. And I can work all of them right away. So, what do we convert now? I think we should probably convert Teddy. We can speed up the process a little bit. Sounds good. So, two more builds. Let's get one farm, perhaps. And remove the jungle. Then we can speed up whatever is going to be next, after the district. I think one more conversion will be needed here. Going to buy horses. I can sell you some horses. 50 gold for 12 horses. 70 gold. Yeah, that's a decent deal. I'll take it. I can still use the money. Because we are still working on improving our income. Oh, also, I might be able to get Golden Age. I only need four more Era Score. How can I get four more Era Score? Well, I already got the unique unit and the unique building. We can get some Era Score by building a district with at least plus three bonus that I didn't have previously. This is a plus three industrial zone, so that will be a bonus. The harbor will not give me any bonuses. I could build a ship. Because we never really got one, right? No. How long would that take? Five turns for a galley. Let's get a galley. That should give me some era score. That might be enough. And if we settle another continent, that's also a little bit of era score. This is a different continent. Oh wait, Harar is also a different continent. This is an entirely different continent. So settling up here will give me era score. Let's go there then. I can get there in six turns. And this guy can settle this spot. And that should give me enough for a golden age. We also got a wonder here. This is actually a pretty decent wonder for me. I could build that. What's the criteria? Must be built on woods. Wait, really? Must be built on woods? Okay. That's a wonder I never actually built before. <laughs> I'm just saying. I might get that. That is not a bad wonder. 16 turns is not too bad either. We could also build a stupa first. That's some extra fate and amenity. I don't need that. What's this again? Must be built adjacent to a holy site district with a temple. Warrior monks can only be received if player has founded a religion or if there is a majority religion for this player or city, okay? Oh, that would grant us four warrior monks. Right. Technically, I can still build a Petra, but I'm not really convinced that's such a good idea. If anything, we should build it here. If I get an engineer who can speed up a wonder, I might do that. If Petra is still available by then. Do we want this silly tempo though? That means one of the lumber mills will be wasted. But I suppose I can live with that. It seems like a decent wonder to build, so let's do that. I just didn't know it has to be built on woods. Fine, let's do that. That will remove the lumber mill, but I can remove the jungle to speed up the wonder. Okay, fine. And let's go towards Teddy. And probably switch to Auto Explorer or something. There we go, got the other envoy and converted the city. Things are looking quite good so far. Remove the jungle, that's 15 more turns. Or 13 more turns if I stop city growth. It's not really growing all that much anymore, so let's do it in 13 turns instead. What's the housing limit in here? 6 out of 12. This city just needs more food, basically. 
but we'll worry about that later. Alright, let's keep going. I need that city. 60 out of 64. We will get some in two turns. I'm pretty sure we will get a golden age. I'm about 99% sure this will definitely be a golden age. Two more spreads. Yeah, let's speed up this city conversion right here. Might as well. And hopefully we'll have nitrate somewhere. I'm not waiting for the boss because that's just not happening. Let's go people, no time to waste. And the galley in three turns. I'm pretty sure I don't have to do anything else to get a golden age, unless I'm miscalculated, but I don't think so. So 33 turns is a little bit too long, let's just convert it ourselves. And I got one build left. Might as well just get a farm. I mean, this city needs some food. Okay, let's just get a farm. We'll switch it back to food once Wonder Construction is done. And I could actually get yet another settler pretty soon. Unless we want to save it for missionaries. Which might be a better idea. We should really spread our religion a little bit more. So let's grab another missionary. I can spread it to my neighbors. To Alexander, to Teddy. Yep, let's just grab a missionary right here. And then, right, workshop, that seems like an obvious choice. Hold on, wasn't this a plus three industrial zone? Why did I not get era score? That's weird. It was a plus three industrial zone. Huh, okay. Well, we will finish a plus five campus. And I should get era score from the galley and then from the city on a new continent. So all that combined should be enough. I'm pretty sure it will be enough. Oh yeah, let's convert Hong Kong. Might as well. And I'll just set this guy to auto explore. There's no need to move him manually. Alright, let's go, people. Let me ask oh, nice! There's a natural wonder in here. And to the one tile impossible desire. natural wonder. It appears as a mountain and provides plus one culture to all adjacent tiles. Land combat units who move next to Matterhorn ignore hills for the rest of the game and gain plus three combat strength when fighting in hills. That is a really, really nice wonder. Okay. Well, I'm glad I went up there. That is going to be very nice. We'll send the missionary this way. I'll just keep converting what's closest to me. And Hong Kong, that's two spreads. The second one should be enough. If not, I can use the other missionary. This is probably the most I ever spread my religion ever in this game. <laughs> okay, 63 out of 64. And I got four more turns. So settling a city right here will definitely give me era score. Right? Oh, there's another city-state. Religious conversion mission. I guess we'll just settle right here. That'll give me the whales. Obviously I'll have Matterhorn. And I'll be able to get all the tiles around the Matterhorn. What about education? Hold on. Earn a great scientist. Can we get one yet? Yes. Well, not just yet, literally. Let's get castles then. Because more walls means more housing. We also got another envoy. I could get Auckland. Problem is, someone might just get it back immediately after. Like it happened the previous time. So then, I would basically just waste two envoys for nothing. I would prefer to avoid that, if possible. I'm just saying. There we go, Hong Kong is converted. We got four more turns. Maybe we should also sell something. Let's check some deals. He will not buy horses. Dido, she will also not buy horses. I need someone who doesn't have too many horses. He should buy some. 16. 
I just want some money, it doesn't have to be a lot. Yeah, 58, that's good. Let's try like 70. This is a decent price actually, even though he doesn't like me too much. Maybe he wants to protect himself from an invasion. <laughs> My invasion. Hey, I'm a peaceful person. There you go. Enjoy. And give me my golden age. Thank you very much. I think this is a little bit too early for golden age CB. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, I think that starts in industrial era, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, this way. And let's settle on spot right here. Yep. That works. Okay, and there we go, plus two era score, and now I have enough for a golden age, nice. And we get a builder right away. So, I am buying gypsum right now, because we had a deal. But we got five builds on this guy, so we can improve everything. And this tile will get plus one culture from Matterhorn. Now, holy side has to be first, because again, that's the rule. It will not be an amazing one, I suppose we can get one here. On the desert hill. Okay, sure. Fine. I have to get it somewhere. What's happening? Yeah, walls, because that's plus one housing basically. The harbor is almost done, about time. I would really like to get more trade routes. We need more trade routes. And let's convert. I don't think I'll be going for a religious victory, but I never played a religion heavy game, like ever. Not in Civ 6 anyway. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this takes us. We got almost 500 again. Literally about to hit 500. How much for another settler? Okay, 580. So I can get another settler once I get 580. If I want another settler. Technically, I could still have a city here. Or maybe over here. There's definitely going to be oil somewhere in this area. That's obvious. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.